Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, here we are about to kick off another IGL cast and we should have a relatively good night ahead of you as we got four games. Game one, Who Done It versus Howland Hall. Game two, Radiance Reapers versus Team Ape Water. Game three, Data Demons Hellhound versus Deflate These Balls. And game four, Darkened Potential versus Los Monsters. So definitely a busy night coming up, but uh, definitely should be filled with a lot of good IGL Rocket League coming on up shortly. First one, supposed to be kicking off at the top of the hour. Who done it versus Holland Hall? Who done it being part of the Who crew? <laughs> and for that, we got Hudson Monster. And I'm going to just get, give you it through what I can see on the side to uh, make sure... We got Hudson Monster, the Miller Bullet, Booger Bear, Mabra Kadabra, and Senior Bubbles for uh, Who Done It. And for the Holland Hall, we got Packer the Boss, Daily Dosage, Dwight and TZ NK. Odds are, if it's in game, I'll probably end up calling them Tank a lot unless I get told that they want something otherwise. If they want something otherwise, I can definitely just go with like TZ. But that is the uh, initial game that we have. Kicking us on off. And it should definitely be a good one. Some tier 3 division 13 Rocket League. To get us underway with the relatively busy night that we'll have going. So. Just a start of what is to come. You guys can join whenever, but you guys do have until the top of the hour, as I just messaged to one of the captains. I am just trying to make sure I have everything pulled up and ready to go. We should be good for the rest of the night. I don't see any issues coming up, but obviously it's just always nice to make sure you're not in a position where anything pops on up, causes any difficulties. Trying to make sure we get all that done beforehand. All right, at this point, I should be fully good to go for the whole night of games. Just in case anything does come up, make sure we are still on the ready and available. But, all right, say tank instead of TZNK. That's kind of what I was guessing. I was thinking that that's more so the common one, and that's how gaming usually typically goes, where you'd have that one be tank. So, I definitely will go with that. And then for who done it on the who like who crew side, as I said, we got the Hudson Monster, the Miller Bullet, Booger Bear, Maverick Cadabra, Senior Bubbles going up against the Holland Hall with Packer the Boss, Daily Dosage, Dwight, and Tank. So the things that jump out to me are both teams kind of have it where they have at least relatively decent sized rosters. So I'm not positive who we will get for either of the sides. But on both of these teams, it is something where you don't necessarily know how familiar the players are with each other, what they will be looking like for in the way each other 
ends up playing. If these teams have a lot of experience together, then it obviously makes it a lot easier to at least jump out and into your IGL season. But for the first game of the year, it's always hard to get that initial guess of who's kind of going to end up putting up what kind of position on each team, who's going to be filling what. And it's a lot of up to the teams to kind of figure that out on themselves, which is why it's hard to make predictions relatively early. I at least have had a couple games where I've knew of a team that has played together in the past that I ended up casting. For those ones, I typically do end up going the way of the team that I have casted before being my favorite relatively early just because I know they have that experience together. They've been there in IGL and they definitely should at least have that kind of drive to know where to hit the ball, everything within that. I will be updating this stream title. Where is this? Alrighty, there we are as well. Getting the stream title on updated for match one. And then from there on out, what we will typically be doing is updating stream title, restarting our up. As we get one of the teams up into the lobby, I will at least pull up the game. We do have what looks to be who done it. Please get all right, I was going to say, I have had it where, at least lately, it uh, has been relatively nice about it, but <laughs> it's obviously something that you get to see from there. Paul joining up into the lobby and who done it, and obviously, I do need to update my scoreboard as I've had the tendency to leave it up there until game one. But in this one, we do now have seven players and even a sub. So I will bring this point to the light right off the get-go. I will throw that one out on out there because technically one of the things for it is a sub can end up causing problems with everything i am completely fine with it if the other team is though i'm just not going to be the one to vote for it because technically if the other team wants it senior bubbles though is going to say sub can't be in lobbies so I am going to just go with it because technically that is that is the correct thing. So the sub just has to back on out, be ready to join when you guys want to trade it on out. He can then just kind of go through the stream and see what's going on there. Otherwise, obviously, he can he has that where he can listen in and that. But so that one, there is the sub. I am good with that then as we have the seven. Subs need to be waiting on the outside, but they are there and ready in between these games. So on it, the blue side, we get who done it on the orange side. We got Holland Hall as we will be kicking this one underway, bro. The first best of five for these teams on the season. This one plays on out. Hudson Meister hitting this one over to the far side corner. We're tank looking to play this one high off the ball, trying to drop it on down center, but Miller Bullet able to get in the way of playing on down for Hudson Monster, who ends up trying to play towards the center, but Asher able to get in the way of that one. Back this one falls in the blue side half. Miller Bullet able to play one actually far on. Senior Bubbles not quite able to wrap around it. Asher able to take this one back on across to the far side out of the air. He's trying to take it, dropping it on down. One low, getting it past one, but Hudson Monster able to make the save, pushing it back into that orange side corner. Go the Egyptian hopping on high, Senior Bubbles dropping it back to that corner, and Tank playing on outward. Senior Bubble playing on over to the Miller Bullet, but Asher up for it, trying to drop down. Hudson Monster now firing one just a little high, Tank playing that back on over and out. Go the Egyptian and Senior Bubbles 50, and this one comes back for the Miller Bullet off the ceiling, not quite able to get back to it, but falling down in front dangerously. Hudson Monster able to get there, tucking this one away to that 
far upper right hand corner. Hatzenmeister able to convert on it as another bullet just kind of thrown it towards that net. Maybe not exactly the setup he wanted, but it did at least end up in a good pass. Able to convert on it, giving Who Done It a 1 0 lead early. Off the back wall, Asher dropping it on out the Miller Bullet. At least I able to play on out, but Tank firing and Joe the Egyptian getting a nice redirect there to tuck this one away. Miller Bullet trying to clear, but Joe able to get that last second redirect as that was going to end up going wide. A great play on their parts to get this game back to tied up one apiece. 347 still remains. Back this one off kickoff. Joe, he's making sure he cuts it back to the corner. And the Miller Bullet playing on out. Senior Bubbles firing one that ends up going just wide. Finding a demo for his trouble along the way. Leaving it for the Miller Bullet. Popping up, trying to get there. But Joe with good for a saving tank. Playing back on across. Cut this far side. Up it goes for Asher. Asher trying to beat Bubbles. But Bubbles at least able to force a touch on it. With Joe now playing high to the back wall. Trying to get back to it. Popping it back on across. Odds and Monster trying to get there, but Tank ended up winning that race. Oh, to Asher firing a shot, but Senior Bubbles in the right spot, clearing it on out of there and getting the follow up touch, making it where Tank ends up making the save, hitting it on out, popping on down in the midfield. So taking the next possession of it, trying to put on forward, getting a good bounce on out. Miller Bullet ends up getting 50 by Gibson and Asher dropping her back down for the Egyptian, not able to get back to this one. And Tank, nobody necessarily finding that, so Miller Bullet will play on upwards. Joe now finally finding some possession, met by Bubbles and across this one goes. Tank, trying to start up a dribble play. Firing to the near side corner, but Hudson Moss here, able to get back to it. Asher trying to get to it on the fall down, but Bubbles, great last second save, but unfortunately, Joe is still the next one able to get there, finding the last touch needed. And somehow Asher was able to get back to that one, forcing the defense to try to make that last pitch second save. Able to get it, but then kind of cleared the goal line as the double commit came out to make the save. Across this one goes Asher off that side wall as they are now waiting. Hotton Monster playing forward to Joe once again. They're put back into the who done it corner. Tank firing the long one. This is going to hit high off the wall. Dropping straight down. Joe is there. Off the pipe. Great save by Senior Bubbles. to not allow that one to go any further forward. Finalizing the save there. Back when this goes to Asher. Your Bubbles hitting on forward. But Tank once again getting in the way of it. Just waiting into that far side. Hot to the monster. Trying to take something there. Gets it by one. Joe next. Get a touch on it. As the Miller Bullet fires it across. But Asher able to push this one on out. Put up a dribble play of his own. Out to the center for Joe. And Joe just keeps finding himself with the right area. Right in front of this goal. He keeps finding the ball. And just being able to put it away. He's really doing a good job of following up on his teammates' opportunities. And really punishing the defense for any mistakes that they do end up having in rotation. Hodge and Monster and Asher meet not up off this crossbar. As it ends up going in the favor, who done it? Falling on down, senior bubbles not able to tuck it past Asher. And bringing her back down, Miller Bullet off the corner towards the center and across, but Asher able to push it back on out there. Hotson Monster at least getting a touch on it and getting it past 150 with Joe as this falls back down to the corner. And bubbles not able to find it. Miller Bullet trying to play back to that side. Tank pushing it back to the center, but Hodson Monster playing on out from there. Down the center, senior bubbles trying to fire one and ends up getting a touch back to the center. Tank at least able to make the initial save. And then the bullet just high off the crossbar. Hudson Monster not able to get there as Asher pushes it back on in. Hudson Monster not able to find it as the chaos continues in front of the net. But finally, Asher and Joe pinch this one on out of there. Bubbles dropping back down to bullet, bullet trying to shoot it, but not able to find it. Asher and Hudson Monster, this does get pushed back into the hooted on it corner. Asher trying to find a play on it, and a demo is found. Back across the net, Tank now able to find it in front of the net. Tucking this one away, giving Holland Hall a three-goal lead with 35 seconds remaining. Honestly, that was a good play, finding the demo and then forcing at least an awkward aerial, if not the bump on the second man to open up the front of the net. Holland Hall having success here early, just disrupting in front of that net.
Asher getting a dribble on this one, flicking, but ends up a flick high up for Tank. Tank able to tuck it away yet again. Holland Hall having a very good strategy where what they're doing is they're having the first person try to just get a shot that forces the defense to need to react and getting the second person up in there, forcing the issue of, hey, that first one's already out of the equation. Can we just beat you now? A double demo there, and Joe going to hit this one back on out, falling back to the corner. Miller Bullet playing off this sidewall. Out it goes, tank. Able to hit into the corner and back on out. Miller Bullet able to get past one but Joe waiting on it patiently, trying to start up a dribble. Asher ends up hitting it back on out. And Hudson Monster trying to drop one. Tank able to get the first save, but Senior Bubbles there for it, tucking it away. Fortunately, it might be a little too much too late for a comeback in this one, but at least that is a like good momentum builder for who done it to head into game two. Finding another one and at least kind of have that confidence that, hey, we can score with these guys. We just need a crisp and a thing up here or there. Hudson Monster and Asher meet on up. Two seconds now remain. Anyone going to get that last second goal is the Miller Bullet. Ends up hitting the ground. Holland Hall finds themselves taking a pretty convincing game one where the offense definitely was there for him. Thank you for the follow, Short King Ruth. But, uh... It definitely was Holland Hall coming on out, trying to make it hard on the defense, not making it just a one-man show. They are willing to play for a second person to be diving on in there, finishing it on off. It just seems like all of their goals kind of come off that consistent factor of they are going to just outwork you in front of that net and keep making you need to make those saves. And if uh, anything goes wrong... It's going to instantly be jumped on by Holland Hall. They are willing to send the house at your net at any given time if they think they have the opportunity. As it, do we have the sixth? We, Joe, able to at least get in here? Are you able to get to your side, Joe? Yes, sir, there we are. We got three sides. So, Holland Hall find themselves up a game going into the start of game two here. Ken who done it find their answer to the Holland Hall offense attack. This one falls back on down. Senior Bubbles getting to it, not even find Hudson Monster as that was hit out of the way. But Hudson Monster able to at least cut in here, open up the Senior Bubbles off the wall, trying to double up, not finding it. Miller Bullet though firing into that far side, take with a great save. Hudson Monster hitting back across, finding Senior Bubbles and a good redirect there to tuck. This one back away. Hudson Monster finding that pass play all the way across and Senior Bubbles being able to convert on it. Finding the opening in the defense, shooting behind the defender, tucking it away. Who done it with the 1 0 lead? 4 minutes 37 seconds remains. Tank pushing this one on in the corner, getting another touch on it to at least a tiny defender, but not enough to do much more than make the touch a little awkward. Miller able to force a 50 that does end up going favorably for him. Once again, 50. This one goes straight across. Show up for a light touch to push this one on into the whodunit half. But Senior Bubbles gladly taking it there. Firing it towards the net off the aerial. And an unfortunate misplay there. Not able to make the save. So Senior. So the Miller. So Senior Bubbles did find the goal. I was going to say, I don't know why. I guess I got tra trapped on that watching. But Senior Bubble was able to find the goal. Confused myself a little bit there. Hudson Monster and Joe meeting back up at the center. Asher pushing it in to the corner. Senior Bubbles hitting on out. Looking for the center play and the Miller Bullet not able to find the redirect. Definitely an opportunity there if they had it. Joe trying to find the flake, but Hudson Monster diving in. Able to dissuade it and Asher. Able to at least clear it on out. He get pressure. Senior Bubbles diving on in, firing one. Tank once again finding the save. On out across this goes the Miller Bullet firing and finding success. Who done it? Definitely coming out here trying to find their response in game two. If they find these passing plays off the sidewall that keep coming back towards the center and it opens up where the defense is not quite following it the same. So maybe a change in the plan for Who Done It and they definitely are opening up some more opportunities. A good play from Hatsumon to get past another. Trying to send it to Senior Bubbles, but just high. Not quite able to tuck that one on away. The Miller Bullet now taking this one back into the Holland Hall corner. Basher is able to advance from here. Getting it past Hatsumon's back into the half. Miller Bullet needs the turn. Playing on across. 
tank needs to retreat with minimal boost, no bullet. Trying to play this one towards the center. Tank and bubbles 15 and out if this one goes. Out of the far side corner now. Hot Monster trying to jump on it, but Joe back to that corner. Miller bullet able to at least get the initial clearance. Pushing onward once again off that wall. Tank at least able to bring it back to the corner. Sides take boost, rotate back. Joe trying to advance it more. Hot Monster trying to get past him, but does end up getting hit and not continue. Tank trying to play forward where Senior Bubbles with good read to dissuade it. Miller Bullet now back in his corner. Joe at least able to find his way to the wall. Is he able to get it down to the center? Yes, he is. Tank high off that back wall. Senior Bubbles waiting on it. Off the side. This one ends up dropping on down. Senior Bubbles throwing it towards the net. Is Joe able to make that save? Yes, he is. In fact, this one is fired all the way down the field. Joe firing it towards the net, getting another follow-up touch as it does go to the center, but Hudson Monster able to at least dribble it on out of there. Double demo, it makes way towards the net. But Joe able to at least get back in time, keeping it on out of there as this one's fired across. And Asher firing an immediate shot down the field. Joe able to meet Senior Bubbles, but another bullet able to clear and back this one goes to Asher. Asher not able to get back to it just yet as this one comes across and Senior Bubble able to convert on it. Miller Bullet with the pass to the center on the mishap on the defense and it's able to get it past Joe and Senior Bubbles gladly going to convert that one with the net wide open for him on a follow through. So who done it? Turning it around here in game two. Both teams kind of having their success moments. Holland Hall going to need a able to pull it back to that game one form. Miller Bullet tries to play on forward, but ends up getting 50 by Tank. Miller Bullet playing on out. Senior Bubbles trying to drop on across. If this does get played in the corner by Hop, Hots and Monster, but Senior Bubbles not able to jump on it there. Joe clearing on out where Miller Bullet tries to play to the side, but Joe already there for it. At least Miller Bullet able to get the boost. So the Egyptian dropping it on down. Tank and Miller Bullet 50. Hudson Monster able to find the end of this. It does end up falling back down and Asher able to at least get something started for Holland Hall here. As he does find it off of the high blast. Finding himself being the first one back to it. Able to tuck it away giving Holland Hall their first of game two. A minute 20 still remains. Can Holland Hall find themselves with another three goals to pull themselves all the way back to even? Asher trying to get in there, but a good block by the Miller Bullet. Hudson Monster firing a long shot, and it's good. It is on, and Tank not able to get the read for the save on that one. Looks like he might ended up side flipping instead of what he wanted to do. And that's going to end up putting Who Done It up 5 to 1. Four goals within a minute and seven. Definitely a hard fought pass, and Pollen Hall are able to pull it on and off. Miller Bullet and Asher be back on up. One that does end up going high. Senior Bubbles trying to find something. Going towards the middle. Joe the Egyptian in the fourth 50 with the Miller Bullet. Up this goes. Senior Bubbles playing once again back in center. Tank if we get out under this one now. This play is back on out. Off the corner wall. Up it goes. Joe able to at least get a 50 with bu Bullet. He's falling back to the center. Asher trying to get there. Popping it on high. Off the back wall and falling on down. Senior Bubbles at least getting a touch on out. Not immediate shot. Asher putting it back to that like upper wall, but Miller Bullet waiting there patiently and clearing on out. Tank a bullet to the far side corner. Not quite finding the net. So the Egyptian now trying to put the pressure still on. One does end up following Miller Bullet past one, but Asher diving in there, maybe getting an opening. In. Looks like a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, but Hodgson Monster able to turn in time, keeping this one out of his net. In your bubbles, trying to start a dribble, but Tank just waiting it there, hitting back on a cross, not quite able to find the net. His two defenders were directly in front of him, dropping on down, going to pop this one on high. Asher played to the corner, will fall there. Who done it with their response game in game two? As we are now one a piece. Alrighty, Asher is gonna end up 
Go on, getting their sub in here and underway. With that one, it looks like they made the change on out. We will be seeing Dwight now to see whether or not they can pull it on back after that game. Definitely was a convincing game one over them. They came out hot. Who done it? At least with the response in game two, able to open up a little bit more of the field and uh, use the sidewalls a bit better in order to play it on out. As we do have four, I am just making sure we do get everyone into the lobby beforehand. Alrighty, and that is three A side. So back in it we go for game three. Each of these teams now trying to find themselves gaining the momentum in this series. Trying to put themselves on that match point first, giving themselves the best opportunity to close it on out. Hot Monster playing back on a cross. Miller Bullet able to get there, firing one, but it does end up just wide. Hot Monster playing back to the sidewall now. As it goes back to the center, Asher able to hit this one on out. Miller Bullet trying to drop it down, but it does just go to the side where Asher is at, firing a long shot. Hot Monster able to at least force it on out of there, and a good pop to get past White. Miller Bullet now in the jump on it. Joe hitting back to the center for Asher. Asher beating the oncoming defender and off the crossbar, but he is back to it, tucking this one away. Drop down from Joe was good enough to open up Asher and it beat Senior Bubbles. He did not expect that touch to be coming. And Asher with the good follow up on it to make sure he tucks it away after hitting the initial crossbar. Making sure he did not just say, that's in, I'm done. Followed it thoroughly. Now out in the orange side corner, Dwight. An unfortunate circumstance there. Maybe should have ended up sitting on this one a little bit longer. Possibly having faith in the teammate. As uh, the read wasn't quite there. It looked like Asher would have been back in time as well. But uh, Dwight kind of ended up in a little bit of the panic on that one. And it ends up tying us back on up. Your bubbles off this sidewall. Able to at least get up to it, but drops it on down for Joe as Joe plays it to the corner. Another bullet off the corner and out where Asher at least tries to hit the corner, but Joe ends up getting a piece of it on his retreat on out. Dwight playing back across, trying to start something here. Getting a dribble pop past one with the Miller bullet. Staying home, able to make that save. Asher off the sidewall, trying to find a demo play on Hudson Monster, but not able to find it. Joe up the field. It's Asher, a great pass back to Egyptian. And he is able to tuck it away. Very good passing play. Joe with the initial one to Asher and going right up the field, who puts it right back to him. Able to tuck it away. Holland Hall find himself up 2-1 to one now. 3 minutes 44 seconds remain. As this does get played forward. Another bullet trying to follow up with Dwight off the back wall, clearing it on to the side with Joe. Force the issue, playing on forward, back into the whodunit corner as it gets fifth. Dodson Monster leads with the uh, touch on it to make a save all the way back on the cross. This one falls down, Miller Bullet flicking it. Asher able to get there and playing back on a cross with Dwight. Dodson Monster though, pushing back to that side wall. Joe pushing it on forward, getting another touch, trying to drop it to the center, and Dwight's there for it. A good pass. Go the Egyptian to open up Dwight to tuck this one away. The initial touches, I don't think defense necessarily thought they had it, and Dwight just able to beat the Miller Bullet to tuck it on into the net. Holland Hall up three to one. Miller Bullet and Dwight meeting on up as this one goes back into the orange side corner. So the Egyptian able to at least push it on out of there, but up over away from him and back this one goes. Asher trying to start up a dribble on it now, but ends up throwing away the possession. Another bullet who fires one off the crossbar, down and crossbar again. Senior Bubbles finds himself back at it. A good 50 from Asher though, and Dwight to force that one back on out of there, but very realistic chance for who done it. Just ends up slipping away right there. Go the Egyptian firing a long laser off the pipe and out. Asher up for it, trying to tuck it away off the near pipe. Dwight finally able to tuck it away. Somebody finding one here finally as the entourage of offense just kept continuing and finally we find it going in the net. Senior Bubbles even getting a piece of it just not quite enough to keep it on out of the net. Howland Hall really finding their stride again. 
Back this one goes high pop back into the corner and Dwight trying to play on outwards. Ends up getting touched by Hudson Monster and back across it goes. Senior Bubbles getting one touch on it. Back on out to the center, getting back to it, but not quite on net. As this opens up Holland Hall to have a bit of an opening, trying to get it towards the center as the Who Done It squad does try to get back on defense and are able to do so. Joe popping this one back into the corner as it does fall down center, but another bullet dissuading it there, putting it back into the Holland Hall corner. Still a lot of game left to play. It's Bubbles not able to quite find it as Asher's able to push that one on wide. Hot to Monster firing one towards the net where Dwight gets enough of a piece of it to push it to the far side corner. Joe pushing onwards. Plays on across. Senior Bubbles intercepting there. Heads up, needing to take it himself. Taking it in reverse the whole time. As it finally does get hit away, Hudson Monster trying to clear it up the field. Where Dwight trying to play back into the blue side half. Senior Bubbles able to at least get the initial touch. Hudson Monster looking for the redirect, not quite getting it. Go to the Egyptian able to make that save. Another bolt back on out. Asher popping this one high off to that side. Senior Bubbles now able to at least force the immediate issue back on up. Ross and this one finds its way past the defense and Joe the Egyptian able to tuck it away. Holland Hall able to tuck this one back into the net. There's definitely viewers from both the, both the squads in chat now, but Holland Hall convincing game one and looking convincing again in game three. Who done it? Definitely had a convincing game two though. Go back off that sidewall. Hudson Monster to the center. And Senior Bubbles on the full cross. Able to tuck it away as the defenders reacted to the first. And it's just not quite happening. And then it put the, where Senior Bubbles had the far side of the net. And he placed it well. Giving Who Done It a response goal. Pulling him back to within three with just about a minute to try to do it. Miller Bullet and Dwight meeting on out, but this goes sidewall. Joe able to get the best piece of it. Hudson Monster gets a touch on it, but unfortunately it wasn't enough to boom it on out of there. This one falls down to Asher, taking their goal right back, saying we want that four goal lead. Thank you. As back on to the play we go. Hudson Monster and Joe the Egyptian meeting on up off that kickoff. As the Miller Bullet able to get a good piece of a fifth year as he had all the momentum going forward and just uses the uh, initial uh, kickoff defender to be able to at least push it on forward. Who done it? <laughs> going right back to that three goal difference with Holland Hall. Still needing to find three in the next 53. Definitely a hard task. Way easier said than done. But across this one's played, Senior Bubbles just high. Another bullet off the back wall now. Playing on out. White not quite able to find the initial touch. But Asher able to do so. Firing a shot. Senior Bubbles not quite finding the save. So Holland Hall will return back to that four goal lead. That's kind of been the bounce around point for uh, second half of this game. Is Holland Hall able to find that successful early offense to give him, get him there. But it has at least been back, bouncing back and forth at that four goal part for a little bit now. 38 seconds remain. Joe the Egyptian and Hudson Monster end up 50 in this one back into the Who Done It corner. Dwight off that back wall. It does find its way to the center, but Bubbles is able to push it on out, trying to get back. He's not quite finding the touch, but it is led for Miller Bullet. It does fire when that goes towards the center. Dwight at least getting a piece of it and even getting a piece of the flick from the Miller Bullet. But it does end up falling back to the senior Bubbles in his own side corner now, trying to play it across the white intercepting. And Hudson Monster in a play back. And out of there, five seconds remain now. Will there be another one for the road for either of these teams? The Miller Bullet playing on high and across. Dwight getting a piece of it as it just dumped to the ground. That will end up being Holland Hall putting themselves on match point. And now it is who done it who decides they are going to pull us up. <laughs> As you says, bet.
As out goes Bubbles. Alrighty. And in comes Booger Bear. So we will be able to get this one back underway relatively shortly. Already into this one goes Holland Hall and who done it a little bit different look as they did see the success of the change for Holland Hall off the initial kickoff there. So back into this one we will go as we see back into the corner. Hudson Monster waiting on it, trying to get the touch, but it does end up falling over him. The white dive on in there, playing it back on across. Oh, for Joe who plays it high off the corner. Out again to Dwight, playing to the center for Asher. Ends up being a shot wide. Back over to the corner now. Miller Bullet not able to find it. Joe getting a good piece of it. Hudson Monster not able to get there, but a great last second save by Booger Bear to keep this one out of the net. The sub making an immediate impact. Asher trying to find back to the center and able to do so. A good pop on it and finding the flick to give Holland Hall the early 1-0 lead. Miller Bullet not quite able to find it, just a little low or a little slow, depending on how you want to put it. Not quite able to get there in time. Asher though with a good flick. Back on across. Go the Egyptian. Playing to the corner and a demo play by the Miller Bullet to open up their defense to get a easy breakout here. Miller able to play it on forward. Asher has to play straight across, finding the next to it. Booger Bear waiting patiently, firing a long shot just wide in the net. Joe not able to find the touch, and the Miller Bullet firing one of that far side. Asher is back and ready for it, though. Hot Monster getting a light touch. Miller Bullet able to flick it by one, dropping it on down to Hot Monster. Playing to the corner now, trying to flick to the center. Dwight is relatively patient on it. it does get bumped, but it doesn't affect him too much. He didn't have too much speed to throw him on out of the way. Booger Bear popping this one on high. Joe trying to get the center, at least finds it that direction. And Asher firing it up to Joe again, dropping it back down to the center, but ends up going across the net. Now nobody quite finding it. Played back to the center now. Miller Bullet with a flick pass one, trying for the demo on the last, not finding it. Booger Bear therefore popping it on high. Hot to Monster not able to get there before Dwight pushes it to the side. Right now starting up a dribble play. Bullet diving in. Booger Bear last one back. Able to make the save. Keeping us at a one goal game. Miller Bullet pushing it on forward. He continues on with the play. This gets 50 all the way back to the corner. Joe the Egyptian off of that back wall. Pop on high. It's a little bit of a miscommunication there. On who done it. But back to the corner. Asher trying to play on out. Pushing it on forward and able to advance it into the Who Done It corner. This is top high and out Miller Bullet getting another touch on it. Finding another hot monster out to Booger Bear firing and converting. Putting Who Done It back to tied up just about before about half of this game has been played. Two minutes and 37 seconds tied up at one. Who done it? Need to find themselves taking this game to extend the series. Otherwise, Holland Hall trying to close it out and out with a win here. Hudson Monster playing forward off that sidewall. If they at least get a piece of it out for the Miller Bullet, but Asher once again, they're pushing it on forward. Booger Bear off sidewall, not quite getting back to it on touch from Joe. But if shot fired from the Miller Bullet and it ends up just splitting the defense, it seems like there was a little bit of confusion on who should be going for that one, whether it should be Dwight or Asher. And in the confusion, it was just enough time to allow that one to squeak by. Who done it? Now find themselves with a one goal lead. Two minutes and 15 seconds of pain. Goes back to the corner. Joe trying. Get a bump to open up the center. Dwight there for it. Getting a soft touch. Hudson Monster able to at least just wrap around it. Get a good flick pass one. Trying to start up a dribble. Trying to get the 50. But Joe plays a low pass one. 
Another bullet backed off this sidewall. As it does end up falling, Hudson Monster trying to push with the center, met by Asher. But White now is going to touch up past one and back down with two. Asher to get past the second. Asher trying to find the center play, up and at it for Dwight. A bump on the last back, but unfortunately not able to tuck it away. Hudson Monster on forward. This one gets popped on up. So not finding the second touch with another bullet. Plays back into the Holland Hall corner where Asher will clear it on out. Hotsy Monster throwing it back into that one, trying to keep up this pressure, but it does come up back into the whodunit corner now. Played on out, a bump did happen. Asher firing a shot, but a good save by Booger Bear. Oh, this is played by Hotsy Monster. Up he goes for it, trying to drop it on down for the Miller Bullet. Able to at least get another touch, but 50 by Dwight across. Booger Bear pushing on past another one, and back on out as this gets 50 yet again. Miller Bullet. Looking for the pass up the field, not able to find it. Dwight starting the dribble, able to get it past one. And then Hudson Monster diving on in there. Asher getting back under it, looking for a flick, a good one, but Booger Bear back in time. As this does go off the sidewall, Joe the Egyptian, Booger Bear meet on up. Hudson Monster trying to drop it. Does come back on out. Miller Bullet able to at least get a 50 with Joe the Egyptian back to the corner. Go up for it, not quite finding it. Another bullet, soft touch to the center. Dwight is there though, and playing back on out. Trying to find his way to the net. Booger Bear though, good save, and even finding the demo on it. Drop back to the corner. Miller Bullet, Miller Bullet, playing it back on out. Dwight now, trying to start up a dribble. Gets past one, met by Booger Bear. Back into the corner, Holland Hall gonna need to find almost the whole court heave with the last seconds. Needing to keep it up, try to find their goal. Asher with a high flick off the back wall, but it, it will be spiked down there. Game five will be needed. The subs for both teams having an effect. What? Sure. Don't know what happened there. Don't care. Uh, back at it to a piece. As long as I'm still here in the lobby, I am good with it. But uh, definitely unique. Subs worked out for both teams to this point where it definitely seems like Booger Bear ended up giving them that defensive front that they really needed to stop any mistakes. So the subs ended up being beneficial for both teams to this point. No subs though going into game five as we will need to see if Holland Hall does get their full roster in in time. It looks like they will as long as Joe is able to join this lobby. Yep. So we are back to 3A side, game five. Winner takes the series. Subs having a positive effect to this point, but no subs needed for this one. They both think they can and will prevail here in the last one. Holland Hall thinking that last one was just a bit of a unlucky coincidence. Miller Bullet firing across the center. Dwight able to clear it to the side for Asher, who's able to get that touch pass. Booger Bear, far side, Dwight up for it, but a great save by Miller Bullet. Reading the initial redirect and getting in the way. Is this one popped back on now? Booger Bear firing it far to the corner. Not able to get back around it. Hudson Monster getting a touch, but Asher once again dissuading it. Hudson Monster playing back out to the center where Dwight tries to start stomping up. But Miller Bullet does well to read it. Getting another touch, popping this one on high and out. Asher up for it. At least they would get to it before Booger Bear. Hudson Monster dropping it back on down, getting another touch past Joe, but Dwight now next to it, taking up his turn with the dribble. Another bullet able to dissuade it. Booger Bear trying to find something. Hitting high off the corner, back towards the center. Miller Bullet at least getting a touch on it. Trying to get back to that one, not even find the center as Asher pushes this one on outwards. Hudson Monster with the immediate cut past one. Booger Bear starting the dribble. Trying to find something for either of these teams to open up this game. Asher back to that sidewall. Up it goes. Not quite finding it. Drops to the corner where Dwight is waiting. Trying for the center. But Booger Bear the immediate clearance. Joe the Egyptian hitting on up. Miller Bullet able to win that race. To not allow him to start just yet. Booger Bear able to play past one. And a demo on Dwight. Maybe opening something up here. But Asher able to dive on out and get there. Not allowing him to find any of the oncoming blue attackers. Asher playing high and over. Booger Bear out of that corner now. Trying to play forward. But Dwight able to get the first cut. Hudson Monster playing back on a cross. 
go and Booger Bear. Joe winning that race with Miller Bullet there, immediately hitting it back on in. Up for it, getting one more, but not quite finding much better. White pushing on, met by Booger Bear. 50 on high to the center. Asher trying to fire. Miller Bullet is back in time. Out oh, this one goes. Dwight Miller Bullet finding a great 50 on it with Dwight as it ends up going heavily in his favor. And that allows the opening for the score to open up for who done it, putting themselves up one. Still two minutes and 51 seconds remaining. Back in at the Miller Bullet, able to push this one on in to the corner. This one ends up hitting on down Asher now, trying to start some Joe with a demo play, but Booger Bear able to hit this one back on out. Miller Bullet not able to quite find it. Booger Bear turning. Trying to fire a shot, ends up high, wide, hot to Monster, able to get back to it, tucking it away just inside the far pipe, putting who done it up 2-0, two, two, 2 minutes and 32 seconds remains, Holland Hall now going to have to have some offensive plan to get themselves to get those two goals back in the next two and a half minutes. What will they end up going to? Joe able to play forward with the Miller Bullet on the defensive. Playing up to Hudson Monster. High off that back wall. Booger Bear not able to reach it. Wait, trying to find it. Just doesn't. Miller Bullet able to play high off that back wall. Out. Hudson Monster able to get to it. it. Ends up just dropping it low. And Dwight trying to start a dribble. Flick past Miller Bullet. And on he takes it. Trying to find the dribble play. Gets cut past another. But Hudson Monster able to at least wait it. Asher firing one that ends up going high and dropping straight down, but not quite in front of the net. Miller Bullet able to play it past one. Dwight there, getting it off that back wall, not quite as Hudson Monster, not allowing that to continue. Booger Bear met by Asher and back across. This goes Joe firing a shot now, trying to get there for the double, not quite finding it out. This one goes Booger Bear playing on outwards. Dwight it just cuts off. Miller Bullet trying to cut up. Met by Joe as this pops back into the Holland Hall corner. A minute 30 now remains. Asher trying to get back to it. Booger Bear, though, able to cut in front of it. Booger Bear firing one, but Joe able to get there. Back on out it goes. Holland Hall will need to try to find something soon with the way that this defense has been so stiff to this point. Not allowing anything to pop on out. Booger Bear keeping it into that Holland Hall corner. Go hitting it on outwards. The Miller Bullet advancing on forward. Dwight now bringing it up to the air. Trying to find a dribble of his own. To drops it for Asher. Firing a long one. Ends up just underneath the crossbar. Tucking it away. A good playoff from Dwight to Asher. Realizing that if he just left it. Asher had a shooting opportunity. Able to tuck it underneath the crossbar. Booger Bear and Hotsy Monster. Not able to get there. Holland Hall pulled the back within one. Minute and four remains now. Joe and Hudson Monster meeting on up. Both teams shoot, but Dwight getting the better of this one. Pushing forward, Booger Bear there, but Dwight once again getting a piece of it. Asher firing just wide off the far side pipe. Another bullet and Asher meet on up, but this one pops on high, dropping on down. Brought back by Asher. Gonna need to pull that one back to the corner. And start up an air dribble, looking for Dwight up the field, but Hudson Monster intercepting, playing back to the corner. Go playing back across to White, White firing a long shot. Miller Bullet at least able to push this one back to the corner and out. As he plays on out. A save made by Joe the Egyptian on the shot from Miller Bullet. But Bugger Bear able to tuck it on away. Giving Who Done It the two goal lead with 29 seconds remaining. That's got to feel like you can at least have some form of confidence if you're Who Done It. You have it where you have that nice little comfort goal. Still though, 30 seconds remain. You have to be able to finalize it on out. Bar them and Holland Hall have got to be able to send the offense away with a good cut past one. The Miller Bullet does well to push this one back on outwards. Joe 50 and this one on back across. Only 14 seconds remain now. Up for it they go. This one falls back down at the center. Dwight pushing it on forward. Are they able to find it? Dwight getting back to it. But Miller Bullet able to make the save in time. Definitely looking like this will be closed on out, and at this point, it will. Will anyone find something for the road? Not quite. Who done it? Able to close this one on out with the final match when taking it here in game five. The subs definitely playing a crucial role in this series as we do end up seeing who done it close it out. Burger Bear having a great performance. In game four, defensively making all the saves his team needed. 
and then even being able to show up and get a crucial goal for them to finalize it on out in game five. Both these teams playing good Rocket League. A lot of back and forth moments. The entire Who crew takes week one. No losses there for them. So definitely something uh, for the Who crew to celebrate for. But Holland Hall will definitely have some momentum going forward as well as it was back and forth games all throughout. Obviously, it sucks when you lose and it hurts a little bit, but it's something to build off of. And they definitely had a good stride in game one and game three. When they find that offense, they really do find it in waves. It just comes down to who done it was able to hold on out and weather that storm in game four and game five. And tuck it on away for themselves. The substitution of Booger Bear definitely made it where it looks like it might have just solidified their defense. That little bit that they did end up needing to get that victory. I'm going to have to check because I did end up getting some messages. So I am going to look through uh, this one more time. <clears throat> Is it this team or the other one? I did end up just getting a message from No Earth about the twos match that I believe we are supposed to technically have to follow this. So if I am not mistaken, it is going to be ended up getting canceled here because they needed to reschedule a new time with the opposing captain. So as long as that is the case, I am probably going to call it and say I will at least be done for the immediate time. I would feel as though we might have someone else streaming, but I will look into whether or not another IGL caster is live and we can predict from there. Who done it as talked about able to close it on out in game five so we can finalize that. I will look as some other IGL casters may at least be live. I will look into it. Because we will host them for the time being, as I do not think my next game is going to go through. <clears throat> I'm not currently finding anyone, but we will close it on out there then. Thank you all so much for coming on out. It was definitely a blast to get a cast, you guys. It looks like my next game might have ended up just getting kind of uh, put on the chopping block for at least the time being. We'll see if uh, I end up going live again shortly. You guys at least know, hey, that's probably what happened. But uh, definitely then outside that, we will have two other games later tonight. Even if the next one doesn't go through, we will have a, some more 3v3 action between Data Demons and Deflate These Balls. And then to finalize out our night, we will hit some 3v3 action on the US West Circus, where we will get Darkened Potential and Los Monsters. But as we had here earlier, Who Done It versus Holland Hall. Who Done It able to win it in game five. Definitely a thrilling series starting off. Apparently, the Who Crew were able to all take victories in their uh, week one matches. So, congratulations to them. And good luck to both teams and all the players going forward for the rest of your IGL splits. Thank you so much. Have a great time. And I will maybe be seeing some of you later for the later, guys. Doses.